A supercomputer specially designed for AI training, hypercharged the AI development and cut the model training time to months and days. Artificial intelligence became the primary focus of the 21st century achieving unbelievable developments. GPT-3, AlphaFold, DALL-E-2, are perfect examples of these developments. Systems like these were able to achieve skills equal or beyond the human level, in the domains once considered human only. For instance, DALL-E-2 can generate novel images for natural language text prompts, which is similar to human imagination. GPT-3 has the ability to converse with humans like another would, but the difference is, it has all the knowledge known to humans ready to be pulled out in milliseconds. AlphaFold can predict the structure of the DNAs, a task near impossible for humans to do. Undoubtedly, these AIs are skilled well beyond the humans in our own tasks and in our own way. But the issue is not their skill level, it's the current limitations that hold back the further developments. Training an AI model requires an enormous amount of computations. Inevitably, these computations demand massive computing power and massive amount of energy. For example, training GPT-3 required 1024 A100 GPUs, running at full capacity for 34 complete days continuously. GPT-3 is only 175 billion parameters in size, and there are much larger AI models than GPT-3. For example, Gopher model contain 280 billion parameters, and Megatron Turing NLG has 530 billion parameters. But the common major problem is the growth rate of computation power required to train these neural AI models. With each passing three and a half months, the demand for computing power doubles, meaning processing power needed to train AIs is growing 25,000 times faster than the Moore's law at its peak. As today's processors are limited in processing power, the only way to increase computing power is to connect multiple chips together via connecting technologies such as PCIe, NVLink or InfiniBand. But clustering and connecting multiple chips does not yield the expected results, as off-chip communication is thousands of times slower than the on-chip communication. Communication within a chip happens with every clock cycle without the processing unit having to idle while the communication happens. When multiple chips connected to form clusters, the communication between chips becomes much slower, resulting in wasted clock cycles and longer training time. The same problem occurs when the chip needs to fetch data from the memory located outside the chip. This is the most common architecture used for many GPU and CPU models. Because this is much slower than the CPU speed, the processing unit has to idle while the data is fetched from the memory to the CPU, wasting thousands of clock cycles before starting the calculations again. These are the major bottlenecks currently holding back the development of AI models. Addressing these limitations, Cerebras, an American artificial intelligence company, developed the world's most powerful AI accelerator system, with the power of hundreds of GPUs condensed into the size of a personal computer. Cerebra's CS2 system delivers the performance of a supercomputer. At the heart of CS2 system is the second version of the wafer scale engine or WISE-2. WISE-2 is an engine block powering the world's largest multi-core chip designed and developed by the Cerebras. This CPU is over 56 times larger than the largest GPU chip ever made. It contains 3,000 times more on-chip memory, with enough space to hold an entire AI model with trillions of parameters. As the memory is built on the chip, memory access time is 10,000 times faster than the leading GPU chip on the market. The chip is specially architected to perform the calculations requires for training AI models, eliminating unnecessary computations and delays that common in a regular general-purpose CPU. Powered by the world's most powerful CPU, CS2 system delivers hundreds of times wall clock computing advantage, at the cost of one-third of the energy. This reduced the model training time to months or hours, allowing researchers to train and adjust models multiple times within a short time frame, which was a very costly and time-consuming before the CS2. The system now enables the training of multi-trillion parameter AI models, which was a domain not explored because of the limited memory and computing power. As a single CS2 unit contains the power of multiple GPUs, it also eliminates the programming complexity of cluster units, and gives programmers more flexibility over programming and model distribution. If you'd like to know more about the technical side of the CS2 system you can, watch the video on the screen. It will give you a technical overview of the CS2 system.